Hello and welcome to Show of the Week. I'm Andy. And I'm Jane. And this week I've enjoyed explosive arrows in Far Cry 4. I'm gonna ram him! All right, while you've been doing that, I've been playing The Evil Within. Yeah, I'm only really interested if it's got explosive arrows. Well, lucky for you, Jane, it does. Explosive arrows you fire from something called the Agony Crossbow that you craft yourself from dismantled trap parts. Yes, that sounds like a hassle, but you'll need to do it because The Evil Within is very much old-school survival horror. You never have enough ammo and every wasted bullet feels like an unforgivable betrayal. Oh, come on, who leaves out an ammo box with one bullet in it? Out of ammo? That old school feel comes courtesy of The Evil Within's director, Shinji Mikami, creator of Resident Evil and director of one of my favourite games of all time, Resident Evil 4. So that's why The Evil Within feels like an unofficial Resident Evil game. There are the knife-wielding, torch-bearing, enraged villagers, the chainsaw maniacs and the spooky mansions, but The Evil Within has an atmosphere that's all its own. Admittedly, it's a harrowing atmosphere of constant dread and hopelessness, but that suits the gruesome subject matter of the game just fine. This is definitely not for the squeamish. It's not just Resident Evil though, The Evil Within magpies the good stuff from a bunch of different games, adding in a stealth mechanic, thrilling action set pieces and a collection of horrifying and memorable boss battles. More on those later. The fact the game is so unapologetically old school means that it brings with it a few of the less desirable survival horror tropes as well. Difficulty spikes, clumsy player handling and a fiddly camera are all hangovers of mid-2000s game design and mean you'll be dying more than you need to. A lot more. But if you can tolerate all that, you're in for a treat. The Evil Within is a greatest hits compilation of the survival horror genre and feels like the Resident Evil 5 that we should have got instead of the Resident Evil 5 that we actually got. Yeah, so he says it's really harrowing. Are you sure he's not just being a massive wuss like when we played Slender the Arrival? Oh no, 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 no. Okay, no, all right, no, all right, no, we need no, more pages. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, how horrible can it be? Mm, yeah, you're right, he is a coward. We'd probably be okay. And I'll prove it too in this all boss right. fight. Okay. In the Evil Within, through which Andy's somewhat coaching me. Sure. But basically, I don't need the help. You're going to fight one of the early bosses in the game. Right. And uh, what boss is this? This is the terrifying spider oh! one. There she is. Oh, Hello. Lord. Okay. So, the advice I would give you is that she is vulnerable to fire. Can I shoot that, you shoot that barrel? barrel? Yes. Oh, no, I'm on you fire. I'm on fire. fire. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah. yeah, maybe don't punch her. But... Well, I'm not trying to punch her. <laughs> trying to run away. Go on fire! Oh, uh -oh. No! Uh -oh. oh, is that is it all over for me? Uh, well, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, well, yeah, it looks pretty over for me. I think your face is slightly caved in. Well, I think I should have another go. <laughs> yeah. That scream, though. That scream. She's the combination of the two things I fear most, which is the girl from the ring and spiders. <laughs> So it's precisely calculated to freak me yeah, out, it's exactly most of all. Fear. Uh, There's a Molotov or a torch? A flaming torch. Flaming, flaming torch. torch. Andy. Oh. There she is. Hi. Immediately abandoned <laughs> the torch. No, I wanted that torch. Uh -oh. Come back. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No, 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 no. Oh. oh. Three times. I get another go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fair enough. All right. All right. Good. No. Not enough. More health. <laughs> okay. Give me all the hell. Yes. Wait, is she behind oh, me? God, no! Me. Is that to stop me from just like crouching in the doorway? Yes. And being terrified. LOL! <laughs> you on the other side. Yes, LOL! Goodbye. Goodbye, lady. You're trapped. Trapped by your own spooky walls. So I can't just like inventory the flaming torch. I can't stick it in my pocket. No, it's a one Because it's on fire. Uh, it's a one okay. Heal. All right, I'm going to swipe it with this. Nice. Set it on fire. And then run away! Run away! No, 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 I'm caught on the scenery! <laughs> Caught on the scenery, my hubris. In my hubris, caught on the scenery. Kick that over. It didn't. It didn't fall over. <laughs> oh god. Way to kick. Oh god, she's right there. Dumbass. She's right light on fire. Light on fire. Light on fire. Why haven't it caught on fire? The barrels oh god. Fire. Oh god. Yes. Nice. Now you like me now. <laughs> she's not happy. Oh, she's ah. coming out of that. Not if I set it on fire. Oh wait. Oh, exactly. If I set it on fire. Ah. Oh, I'm out, Sherman. No, I'm not. I'm reloading. Why not just set everything on fire? <laughs> Wait, I've only got five matches, right? Yeah, he can only carry five matches because matches are very good. Ah. Oh, this is coming fire. That looks good. Am I going to burn if I stand on this? No, you're right. Because he obviously does not rise, and I am completely fine. Yeah. Wait, so you get me in here. Oh wait, <laughs> she's getting me in here. Oh no, she's getting me in here. Oh no, I've cornered myself. <laughs> no, run past her. Run past her. Crawl past her. 
<laughs> Cruel Fate! Oh, no, oh. Cruel Picker! Sebastian! Oh, no. Oh, oh I can't look. No face. I needed that head. I was oh, using my man. face. Right, Andy, what am I doing? Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, I'm stuck on something. I'm drunk. It's I'm left bump hammered. Right. Begin. Nice. Have some of that right on the knees. Right on your spidery knees. Oh, oh, that's, that's the other kind of barrel. The red one's that he's played. <laughs> Run away! Okay. Should have remembered the barrel code. She's just coming out of that course behind you. Well, she can bugger off. Get away! Get away, you meanie. Mean lady. Mean spider lady. Where are you? <laughs> ah! Is. Ah! Nice. Ha! Right in your silly face. What else have I got? Have I got any other interesting bolts that might be useful against this uh, lady? The ice bolt might come in handy, the freeze bolt. Can I then just like fill her full of buckshot at yes, that point? You can. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, you got your shotgun out. Ah! I didn't want that. I wanted the agony, agony thing. Oh, uh, did that get him? Yeah. You're sort of out of shotgun. Oh god. Okay. Oh, and she's coming, she's coming. what did I just drop? I've confused her. I've I've around. baffled her. What else have I got? My magnum magnum's pretty good, right? Magnum is pretty good. Is her head sensitive to magnum bullets? It is, but there you go. Just want to fire a magnum bullet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is she yeah. done? Now what? Can I dispose of the corpse? That's it. She's she's done. You did it. One shot. Yes. <laughs> Take that, Jane. Best monster hunter. Now it's time to see what you've been saying in the comments and in rejection letters for Andy's collection of Evil Within fan fiction. Unnecessarily sexy, it says. I'll be the judge of that. First up, your comments on last week's show in which we took on the mantle of the world's greatest detective. Ooh, Batman? No, not Batman. We've been over this. Unlike Batman, however, you won't be beating criminals unconscious in Sherlock Holmes crimes and punishments. Instead, you'll be hammering them with irrefutable evidence deduced with your keen powers of observation, and also occasionally beating them unconscious. Consulting detective Ewan Sutherland reports that the only crime here is Jane's pronunciation of Holmes. Holmes? Holmes. 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 It's a dumb name anyway. Pedro Pablumo has this to say on the subject. I thought Sherlock Holmes was a PI. He can't arrest people. Ah, I cleverly got around that with a little legal loophole I like to call shooting everyone in the face. Oh, you're wonderful. <laughs> Oh! Oh, through the neck. oh, it's a bloodbath. <laughs> oh, no. This is exactly how I planned it. Sweet Victorian justice. Wrath of Jigglypuff, however, knows what you should have done and says if crimes and punishments had auto aim, he could have taken the Chilixican, Chilean slash Mexican, down easily by just Sherlocking on. I'll let myself out. Could have used a homesing missile. Ugh. Moving on, this week we also played some Borderlands the pre-sequel where, thanks to an hilarious misunderstanding, both Andy and I ended up playing as Claptrap. Oh so. no, Andy, that's my ammo, I needed that. Oh, There's sorry. not even any enemies to shoot, thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Sorry. Johnny Hellstrom has his priorities right, saying, It's really hard to focus on the gameplay because all I can see is that blinking level up icon. For God's sake, assign your skill points, you're driving my OCD mad. Oops. Ferenti, on the other hand, has come to the startling realisation that Fun Zerka is a portmanteau of Gun Zerka and Fun, and that Gun Zerka is a portmanteau of Gun and Berserker. That means Fun Zerka, in addition to being super annoying, is like some sort of super portmanteau, and heralds the beginning of the end as it sets in motion a sequence of events that promise to combine all words into a sort of er word portmanteau of all the words, like a reverse Babel. What have we wrought in our hubris? To which Jam Bun Hero replies, what do you get if you cross Evie Hammond with Jane Foster? Natalie Portmanteau. Thank you, I'm here all week. Be serious, Jambon Hero. We're talking about the end of the world here. <laughs> Look at the objectives <laughs> covered in bullet holes. <laughs> with bullet holes. <laughs> Man, I am a liability. Finally, your comments on this video about the most plausible, creepy theories about the next Silent Hill game. Even at this very early stage, there's a decent amount of evidence that Silent Hills is about multiple universes or parallel dimensions or overlapping realities. They're so hot right now. Custard Gannett reckons he's got it all figured out, saying, It's the dog. It's always been the dog. <laughs> Eighty-six, the Mad Hatter, meanwhile, dropped by with this piece of intel. I saw rumours about Silent Hills being third person when outdoors and first person indoors, but there were rumours about those rumours just being rumours. So which one was the rumour? All of it, I think. But Silent Hills still exists, right? That's the rumour. Oh god. 
Millie and Sonny was less concerned with Silent Hills and more concerned with our set, saying, Is that the loading screen of Skyrim in the back? I wondered how he got that set so cheap. Pre-owned. Yeah, it explains all the frost trolls as well. <laughs> there they go in the kitchen again. I told you not to leave crumbs everywhere. That's how you get frost trolls. Sorry. Good luck. If I get eaten again, it's your fault. Right. Necessarily sexy. Necessarily sexy. Absolutely necessarily sexy. That's it for Show of the Week, but you could be getting in touch with us right now on Twitter or Facebook.com forward slash Outside Xbox. We'll be back next week, but in the meantime, do hit the like button because it's connected to a food pellet dispenser at YouTube HQ and we're all really starving. Thanks for watching. See you next week. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, you better go on ahead. I've got important work to do here. Are you making explosive arrows? Ha! No. Uh, unrelated, do you have any hand grenades? That's it, I'm out of here.